I saw a corpse a strip farmers into black of water, water and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corpse have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? It's 2024. We have already seen a more increase in technology with Apple Vision Pro, Elon Musk Neuralink's first human trial, more advancements in quantum computing, and more. But with this steady advancement of the world's tech, both hardware and software, how close are we to becoming like cyberpunk? Cyberpunk is a subgenre of science fiction that focuses on dystopian future where advanced technology has become a part of everyday life. This genre is characterized by a dark, gritty atmosphere and the themes of social decay, corporate control, and rebellion. Cyberpunk 2077, developed by CD Projekt Red, takes this genre and idea and builds on top of it by 20 times. The similarity is that this game to real current day life is scary. In Cyberpunk 2077, the Arasaka Corporation is a powerful Mako Corporation that controls much of the world's technology. Much like Arasaka's grip on technology in the game, BlackRock and Vanguard control a vast amount of financial assets. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, and Vanguard, a leading investment management company, collectively manage trillions of dollars in assets. This financial dominance allows them to influence major corporations and shape economic landscapes globally. However, this power doesn't come without scrutiny. Both BlackRock and Vanguard have faced criticism for their lack of transparency. The intricate web of financial instruments and the sheer size of their holdings often make it challenging for the public to fully understand their operations. This lack of transparency raises concerns about accountability and the potential for decision making that may not align with the interests of the general population. BlackRock and Vanguard's influence extends to shaping economic policies that can impact income distribution. Critics argue that their strategies can contribute to wealth concentration among the elite, leaving the majority with fewer opportunities for financial growth. The public has become increasingly aware of the significant influence these financial giants have, leading to calls for increased regulation and transparency. It's scary and exciting to know that this is becoming our future. Maybe not as extreme, but still some of the same ideas will happen. One striking example is the development of Brain Computer Interfaces, or BCIs, which allow individuals to control computers and devices with their thoughts. This technology, reminiscent of the cybernetic enhancements in cyberpunk, is rapidly advancing in the real world. Companies like Neuralink, founded by Elon Musk, are at the forefront of this revolution. Neuralink, Elon Musk's ambitious venture, aims to create a seamless connection between the human brain and machines. Through the use of implanted brain chips, Neuralink seeks to enable direct communication between the brain and external devices. While we may not be plugging in as portrayed in the game, Neuralink represents a significant step towards the neural enhancements showed in Cyberpunk 2077. Another example is Augmented Reality, or AR. In the game, characters seamlessly interact with digital overlays on the physical world. In our reality, tech giants like Google and Apple are investing heavily in AR technologies, aiming to integrate digital information into our day-to-day -day experiences. From navigation to gaming, AR is gradually becoming a part of our lives, already showing major advancements coming to Apple's new flagship, Apple Vision Pro. The closest we are to a full AR system that's implanted in us is the micro AR contact lens from Mojo, named Mojo Lens. These lenses represent the pinnacle wearable technology, offering users a seamless AR experience without the need for cumbersome headsets or glasses. These contact lenses employ micro displays and wireless radios to project images directly onto the user's retina. The result? A virtual display seamlessly floating in front of them. The potential applications for these augmented reality contact lenses are nothing short of revolutionary. Picture this, real-time translations effortlessly displayed before your eyes, vital health information appearing at a glance, or a heads-up display aiding athletes and soldiers in their missions. The possibilities are endless. The rise of artificial intelligence is transforming industries from healthcare to finance. The AI algorithms are increasingly used for decision making, data analysis, and even creative endeavors. The parallel between the game's depiction of a tech-driven society and our resilience on AI is undeniable. Furthermore, 
The game's portrayal of advanced prosthetics aligns with the reality of technological advancements in the field. Bionic limbs with advanced functionalities responsive to neural signals are providing amputees with a level of mobility and control once thought impossible. As we continue to develop new technologies, the line between fiction and reality are becoming increasingly blurred. And it's up to us to ensure that we're using technology for the greater good. In the future, we may see more advanced technologies that blur the lines between human and machine, such as fully sentient robots and cybernetic enhancements. We may also see advanced forms of human tech implants that would be similar to cyberware in the game, such as inserting a link from your arm into a device or implanting USBs into your head to receive information. In conclusion, Cyberpunk 2077 is more than just a game. It's a reflection of our society and the direction we're headed in. As we continue to develop new technologies, it's important to consider the ethical implications and consequences. The lines between fiction and reality are becoming increasingly blurred, and it's up to us to ensure that we're using technology for the greater good.